It has been about four months since the South Bend School Board voted to close Clay High School. It's one of several big changes made by the corporation to right size itself. The decision to close Clay has been met with anger, disapproval, and even legal challenges from some in the community. Meanwhile, inside Clay High School, there are many trying to make this year positive for students and staff. It was the last first day of school for mom, Karen Pager. So I am the mother of two, I, I guess you say young men. Pager's oldest is already in college. Her youngest started his senior year of high school last week. I think all moms get teary eyed when you think about the end of an era. It's the end in more ways than one. Pager's son will spend his final year of high school here at Clay High School during its final year. I think when we first found out that the school was closing, like everybody else, we were angry and frustrated. After the decision was made this spring and in the months that have followed, there has been concern that students and teachers would leave. And some have. According to the South Bend Community School Corporation, there are 46 teachers employed at Clay High School right now. There were 79 last year and enrollment has dropped as well. But Pager says her family is sticking around for this last best year. We are not focusing on the closing. We are focusing on living and making this the absolute best year ever. And I love that there's so many people involved that have that same goal. She's right. The back to school block party last week was extremely well attended. Community members have reached out to show support through donations. And there's a dedicated group inside the school working to make sure this year is positive. It is going to be a hard year to forget. That's the goal. Angela Buzzi has worked for South Bend Schools since 1989. I did retire for 31 days. She's now the transition administrator at Clay High School. This has been a hard time for them, so that's what I'm doing here. Buzzi has been leading a steering committee made up of parents, students, and staff. They plan the back to school transition and are planning future school events to keep this school year positive and focus on the long legacy and successes of Clay High School. I don't think anybody's happy that it's closing and, and I, I really truly see the angst of that. However, I, I do know that people are not letting it blind them to not do what we can do with students in this year with a bang. I mean, and that's the goal is to just make it the best that we can make it. Micah Cowles is helping. I was definitely disappointed. I mean, Clay's a great school. There's a great community here. Um, but I mean, we're just trying to make the best of what we can with it and trying to make this year the best year that we can possibly have. Cowles is a senior this year and helping to make sure Clay High School's new freshmen are comfortable. I think we're building relationships at, at a, a, a deeper level to ensure that uh, people are supported. That support is growing in and out of the building. No matter what decisions are made on the outside, there are plenty inside that have their sights set on a happy ending. The best last year. Yeah. Yes, that's the goal, to be the best last year. As part of the celebration of Clay's legacy, she says they plan to bring the huge Clay canned food drive back this year and the homecoming parade. There's information on our website about how you can pitch in for student activities. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. I'm John Paul. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.